This is your host, Job Moraga from Maran Spiritual Ministries. Today, brothers and sisters, I want to talk about a pertinent topic that I, sh- that I should have long recorded, but because as we come to a close, in as far as my, my personal testimonies are concerned, there has been a scramble for production, which one to do first and which one to do last. So today, I want to talk about the book of Daniel again. Remember, brothers and sisters, I said in several videos that the only book that I was ever commanded to read was the book of Daniel. And I want to talk about the book of Daniel with regard to cuneiform script, cuneiform script, and also with regard to the language, the Akkadian language, that is the language that was spoken during the the Babylonian times, during the times when uh, Daniel and, and his friends were held in captive in Babylon. We understand that Daniel interpreted something. There was a writing on the wall and uh, many Christian commentators believe that the uh, what Daniel saw on the wall was actually the um, the cuneiform script, meaning that uh, these symbols, old symbols, that is what he saw, and then he translated those symbols into Akkadian language, or possibly he translated them into Aramic, because it was during that time when the Babylonian language, the Akkadian, was being phased out and Aramic was taking the center stage. Why am I interested in all these writings and the interpretation that Daniel was subjected to? It is because, as I said, first of all, every feature, let me call it that, of the book of Daniel, everything i look at it with an objective eye i interrogate it to understand what does it mean to me as commanded brothers and sisters i think i've mentioned that uh, there were times where i for instance when the holy spirit came upon me i would see all these uh, imprints on my flesh on my skin on my body there will be these imprints, and I call them biblical, biblical symbols. At that time, I didn't understand what they were. It happened on four occasions where the Holy Spirit came upon me, and every time I looked at my hands, I looked at my body, there were these imprints. And on the last occasion, I remember that the, there was something that said, now you need a witness. So the Holy Spirit came upon me at around 9 9 p.m. My wife was still awake. I was wearing the pajama shirt. And he came upon me and and immediately I asked her that we should go to a place which was well lit. We went to a, a place which was well lit and I took off my shirt. And she could see all over my body that there were these imprints, this ancient biblical imprints whether it's hebrew whether it's this cuneiform script that i spoke about i didn't know at that time so again brothers and sisters you will recall that uh, during COVID, our cars were gathering dust in uh, in our garages and i was no exception one day i woke up and on the windscreen I just saw the same form of writing which I couldn't understand. So I then decided to take a picture and to approach rabbis because I believe that they will be very helpful in in interpreting whatever language that was communicated there. So then one of the rabbis said, nah, man, this is Yiddish. And, and, And I got even more lost now. Yiddish, what language is that? So to cut the long story short, nobody could help me. Until one day, I had an audible voice that spoke about the five scrolls. And when I googled and checked what the five scrolls were, I saw that the the, the scriptures in the Old Testament, like uh, the Songs of Solomon and, and the Book of Lamentation, 
and I, I I just knew deep down that no this is not it there must be other scrolls that they are referring to and of course as it turns out uh, I learned later that uh, these were the Dead Sea Scrolls the Dead Sea Scrolls so I saw the Dead Sea Scrolls and one of the scriptures there is actually the book of Daniel and I knew that that must be correct because I was just commanded to go and read the book of Daniel and I leave the book of Revelations, I still say that. So that is how it happened, brothers and sisters. Why is it important? Why is it relevant uh, for this conversation that you and I are having? It is relevant, brothers and sisters, because we know, you may believe that what I'm saying is far-fetched, but we know that uh, once the beast takes over, he is going to eliminate the Bible as you know it. He will make it harder for you to read your Bible, whether electronically or copies. I would believe that you'll be arrested for reading your Bible. And just like here in South Africa, we used, we used to be arrested for, for not having our IDs with us. So I believe that uh, something like that would happen be arrested everything would be destroyed i believe electronically you won't find a bible to read and i believe that there is a reason why brothers and sisters the top three top three executives let's call them executives of the satanic structure i believe that there is a reason why they are after me there's a reason why I saw the false prophet, I saw the beast himself, and I saw the dragon, Satan himself, on numerous occasions. And at some point, I just saw the false prophet and Satan standing before me, and I was not sleeping, I was awake. And that was on the 3rd of January this year. I saw them standing before me, and there must be something that they are after for that top structure to be pursuing me like that. There must be something. And as I think about it, brothers and sisters, I know that it may be far-fetched, but as I thought about it, I think what they were really after is those imprints, because I believe those are scriptures. Even if they were to ban the Bibles, even if they were to discontinue electronically the Bibles, I do carry copies on my body the imprints on my body that's what i believe brothers and sisters i may be wrong but explain to me why an angel of the lord stood before me and he said that these are your treasure hand numbers and then one of the numbers of course was number five and the holy spirit came upon me on five occasions where there were these imprints and as i understand it the Dead Sea Scrolls, there's about five of them. I think one is the Book of Kings and Daniel. It warrants a, a full video for me to look into the Dead Sea Scrolls and understand why. what is the relevance between the Dead Sea, the Dead sea Scrolls and me and also the imprints that were on my body. And as I said, when I look at the amplified version of the Bible, I came across this cuneiform, an old form of script, and uh, there's a link there as well between that and Daniel. That's my take, brothers and sisters. I may be wrong. You help me. I don't know what you think. Maybe you'll get the revelations. You can advise me what you believe it is. In Jesus' name, let our eyes be open. I think we will see you in the next video. Amen.